out with the old and in with the new. For anyone out there familiar with watching a, a home improvement show of any kind, you might call this one, this old airport, the demolition. After doing multiple stories on the shiny brand new airport, construction officials thought it only fitting to give the media one last look at the facility, which has helped millions of people fly into and out of Salt Lake City over the past several decades. The old parking garage is already nearly halfway down and turned into rubble. And the old terminals, well, they are soon to meet the wrecking ball. Uh, by the end of the first quarter of next year, Terminal 1 and Terminal 2 will be demolished. Around the middle of next year, really all of the former airport will have been demolished and will be just building new. While tearing things down, crews are also trying to salvage and repurpose anything and everything they can. And while the worldwide pandemic has had a devastating effect on air travel in general, it's actually been a blessing in terms of this demolition. Mike Williams says the lack of air traffic coming into and out of Salt Lake City, it's really not very busy compared to maybe a year ago even. He says that's allowed the crews here to really get a, a real big push on all of this and may allow them to finish this project as many as two years ahead of schedule and potentially up to $300 million under budget. That's all at International Airport. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.